assalamu alaikum so today i will be teaching you uh, how to edit join and cut uh, through videos using the software called it films uh, there are many easier software for doing the same thing but the reason that why i want to show you hit films is that number one it's free number two it has a lot of detailed video editing features which a lot of uh, advanced video editors need but they are hesitant to actually use any advanced software because they don't know the basics so at least via this video we can know some basic tips on how to edit, join, clip, cut, paste videos together to uh, make some basic videos. And then in some further tutorials, we might move on to more advanced hit films uh, tutorials. So please watch. If you are unfamiliar with hit film, I will keep their link in the description below so that if you want to download uh, the free software, you can download it and then use it to actually make your own videos cut paste or edit them and later on we will move on to more special effects which are easily possible within hit films so don't be discouraged about the daunting interface in the start it might look like uh, your more professional adobe lightroom or adobe premiere kind of software but it's very easy to use and of course it's free so why not so let's move on to the computer screen where I will show you uh, how to edit and join some videos. So to create a new project in it, let's cl click uh, new. And here we are going to go to the editor window and you can select a template from the pre these pre set up uh, templates. Uh, of course, most of you are going to, may going to be making 180p videos. That's the full HD. But of course, it's supports uh, your square videos which are more compatible with Instagram or going up to 2k or 4k videos as well but for this project I'm going to select my 180p template so let's click OK so this is my editor uh, there are three main windows here one is the viewer the other one is the media and controls and the bottom one is the editor timeline so pretty straightforward that if you want to have some clips edited you ne first need to add it to your available media you can use the import or using your windows explorer for example i have two clips here which i want to edit so i can just drag and drop them to my media se uh, section as well for the first one i'm going to drag it if you want to add a video to your timeline all you need to do is click hold it and drag it to your timeline now if it does not match your uh, video settings that you had done before it will ask you that if you want to change your main project settings to match the video settings of your video this will only happen for the first video so the difference in this one is that even though this is a full HD but this video clip is 24 frames per second and my project setting was 25 frames per second in this case I'm going to accept yes and now my project settings will be changing to 24 frames per second as well now on the timeline I can see and I can drag through the video that I have here to see that uh, what the video is showing to make a trim now these are my controls the first one is the arrow then there is the drag tool then there is the slice tool so today I'm just going to use these three buttons and not the remaining which you can explore on by yourself as well so for example there is some specific video clip that I want to actually extract from this or cut out unwanted video so I will use the blade button which is the slice tool and wherever my cursor is I will click and now my video clip has been distributed into two parts and I can select this side or this side for example I didn't want this side I will select it and then right click or you can press remove or you can press the delete button to easily delete it as well so if I select remove now this clip has been removed and now I'm left with this scene 
let's say I just wanted up till this point so again I'm going to slice it then going further I want to make another slice here and this ending part I actually don't need now if you want to go through and fine-tune where you actually make the split or make the cut then you can use these buttons as well which is the next frame and previous frame these can be controlled by your comma and full stop so if I keep pressing this button I can actually select the exact frame where I want to make the cut so for example just after this logo appears I want to make the cut so this is where the date comes in so this is the perfect spot where I want to make the cut now I will select the blade so it automatically snaps to my timeline and I can easily make that cut and delete any unwanted video so in this way I can actually and drag it uh, across the timeline as well in this way I can easily cut the selected frames that I want to retain in my video or not now let's say I want to add the second clip as well which is this one called summer 2019 so I can drag it again onto my same timeline of course you can drag it up here as well to make another timeline another uh, frame but in this case I just want to mix and match videos in the same timeline so now my summer 2019 video is available here as well so if your video is not of the same size you can always right click on it go to transform and then select fit to frame so as you can see what it did was my height of this video was 816 which is not the same as the original video so it will try to automatically scale the video up you can select fit to frame width which is the case which I want right now that it should not distort the video just fit it width wise and the rest of the remaining up and down portion will become black bars so same thing here I will select the exact clip where I want to cut select my slice tool cut the video go to the next frame where I want to make the cut make the cut the next frame I made the cut whichever portions I don't want I'll delete and now I want to arrange the videos on how I want them presented so for example first this clip then this clip should come then third clip should come then fourth clip this snapping will happen automatically because this magnet icon is selected which is snapping if you don't want this of course this is always the easier thing but due to some reason if you don't want automatically the clips snap together then you can always turn this off and now I can just overlap the videos as well and they are not snapping together so that's not the ideal condition in for this project I'll use the magnet tool and snap them together and now when I my videos are joined together now one more thing that I want to show is that in case you want each of these video clips is having its own audio as well but just in case you want to add a music or anything in the background rather than the clips voice itself so that is a uniform maybe a song behind then we can add that as well so let me find out any song for now let's say this is the song that I want to play in the background so now this is an audio file that's why no preview is coming just an audio gram of it so I can add it as another layer now to add more layers we can always have let me change the preview size of this to medium video size to medium as well so that you can see more clearly what's going to happen here and I can add another audio track here so here you can see that I just drag the audio as an additional layer now by dragging this 
now two of the sounds are going to get mixed together of course now we need to control its volumes for each of the videos so for example the source audio of these videos i want to reduce so just click this white bar and drag it down this shows that what should be the volume of this audio track so i reduced it whereas i slightly increased the audio track of the file that the mp3 that i added so in this way you have seen that how to add join videos add music to your videos and once you are done with this your project you can click the export button what you are going to select is export uh, before we export this one thing you will see is that our video is finishing before the audio so if that's not your intention then bring your mouse close to the edge of your audio clip and you will see a bracket icon which means now you can click and drag it to limit it to a certain point now your audio and video are matching now you can click export and say contents so whatever are the contents here this can be exported so just you have to click this start exporting button and with the, your settings that you want to create a youtube compatible video 180p these are the default settings you can export i will click export and now it has started to export the video i can see the rendering preview here and this file will be saved on my d drive as called editor.editor2.mp4 of course you can click and rename the files or rename it later but in just actually this is how you are going to render your files or join just do some basic editing to cut paste control some audio and easily make video clips using hit films express so hopefully this was a simple enough tutorial for you if you have any questions about this or any other tip that you need please leave in the comments below thank you